So this question says the quantities S and T are positive and are related by the equation S equals K over T, where K is a constant. If the value of S increases by 50%, okay, so this guy is going to go up, then the value of T decreases by what percent? So anytime I see percent increase or decrease, I like to know, well, what's my baseline, right? Where am I starting? And because I don't have any values for these variables and constant, I'm going to use a strategy that I call plug in your own number, right? Because I want to know, or at least I want to make up what S is, what K is, what T is. It needs to make sense, obviously. And then I'll say, well, what happens to that when I change it by increasing S by 50%? So I am going to say that K is equal to 8, that T is equal to 2, and by doing that, that makes S equal to 4. Now, how did I choose those numbers? Were they random? No, they were not, right? I could choose any numbers that I want, really, um, but I'm really trying to get to a point where S is a number that's easy to uh, increase by 50%, right? So you could have chosen 2, 4, Six, eight, right? Any even number would make it easy to kind of deal with. So, you know, I kind of should have said S values first, right? So I, I should have said, the way I should have said this is I want S to be four. How do I get there? In order for S to be four, I could say that K is eight and T is two, right? That would make S equals four. So that's my first scenario. So my second scenario is saying that S has now increased by 50%. So for S to increase by 50% takes it from 4 to 6 because 50% of 4 is 2. To increase by 2, we add 2 to the 4, and now we get a 6, right? So from 4 becomes 6. Again, the question told us that K is a constant, so if it was 8 up above, it remains 8 here. And then T is what I am looking for. So I'm going to use this equation, my S equals K over T equation, and turn that into 6 equals 8 over t. I'm going to multiply both sides here by t, giving me 6t equals 8. Divide by 6 on both sides, and I get t equals 8 over 6, which is equal to, in my calculator, that is 1.333 with a bar over it. So the question isn't asking what the value of t is, it's asking what the value the value of t decreases by what percent? So again, my baseline is saying that t was equal to 2. Now t is equal to 1.33, you know, so on and so forth. So this is a difference of 0 0.6667, you know, so that continues on. Um, so what percent decrease does this number here, right? What does this number represent? on a percentage standpoint from the original value, right, from 2. So 0 0.6667 or 0 0.67, let's call it 0 0.67, is what percentage of 2? That's what we're trying to find. So 0 0.67 is what percentage of 2? Is 0 0.67 25% of 2? No, it's not. Is 0 0.67 33 and a third percent of 2? Yes, it is, right? And I'll show you the math in a second. Is it 50%? Definitely not. Is it 66 and two-thirds percent? Definitely not, and definitely not 75%. So I'm showing you this because if you're hesitant to do the math, um, I think the answer choices kind of help you to get to the answer quicker than maybe doing the math even. But here's how we do the math, or here's, how, here's one way to do the math. So I could say uh, 0 0.67 is, which means equals, what percent, what percent is x over 100 of is multiply 2, right? So there's my translation of the exact sentence that I use to find the answer. So to, uh, to simplify this, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 150 times. So I have 0 0.67 equals 2x over 50. I'm sorry, just x over 50. So I multiply both sides by 50. So in my calculator... Uh, 0.67 times 50, and don't forget I, I rounded that 0.67, I get x is equal to 33, and my calculator says 0.5, but again, because I rounded, I don't trust that fully, so I know that my correct answer here is just 33 and a third percent.